Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, and I am standing in the garage of Mr. J's Two Cents. And today I'm gonna show you how to fix that really annoying clicky sound that you get from office chairs, DX racer chairs, GTO mega chairs, AK racing chairs, and every other chair that uses that hydraulic type piston on the bottom. Let me demonstrate what's going on here. So here's Jay's chair, I already fixed all mine, so I had to come all the way to California to fix his. But when you sit in the chair, you move back and forth, you get this crazy popping noise. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, let's fix this thing. All right, it literally took me a year to figure out how to fix this because I couldn't find anything online. Everybody was basically doing a bunch of lubrication of the undercarriage right in here. And that actually wasn't where the problem was. It sounds like it is, but where the problem stems from is down here in the gas piston cylinder. So what we need to do is get this thing upright. We're gonna use this right here. Okay, so to do this repair, all you're gonna need is a little bit of WD-40 to clean up, not to lubricate. You're gonna need some white lithium grease or pretty much anything. You could probably use KY lube for this, honestly, and a pair of pliers. Now on the bottom of every one of these chairs is this little clip and they all look exactly the same. Doesn't matter what brand it is, they're all identical. So to remove this clip, we're just gonna go ahead and put the pliers on there. We're just gonna lift up on it and pop it off. It's that easy. It's, it blew my mind how easy it was to take this thing apart, honestly, this is crazy. Set that aside, try not to lose it. Now we're gonna pull off the washer. There it is. Now this can get a little bit messy. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this off and there it is. Now, if you're a complete little bitch like Jay's Two Cents, he's gonna force you to put on some orange gloves so you don't get oil all over his house. But if I was doing this at home, all my doorknobs would have greasy little marks. The shot, you can see it's already starting to disintegrate. This little ring, you see there's all kinds of little residue and stuff inside of that ring. It's really, really nasty. And then you got the bearing and you can see there's all kinds of little plastic and stuff all over that. It's actually gotten quite nasty. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna pull this off, this little washer here. Come on now, come off there, there we go. We'll set this aside. Make sure you keep them in the proper order. The washer goes at the bottom, the race goes in between, and the little rubber gasket goes on the top. All right, so we gotta clean all of this nasty, filthy bung off here. Just go ahead and use your little paper towel or a little rag if you have a handy. And if you come in close right here, you can see the little gasket that seals the shaft is all mangled. This thing is just trashed, but if you lubricate it, it'll be fine. Okay, we're gonna take a little WD-40, put it on the rag, and clean her up. Get it all nice and sparkling. Now I've been informed tons of times that WD-40 is not a lubricant. We're just using it to clean, so just calm, calm your ass down in the comments, okay? Just calm. All right, well we're at it. We'll clean, actually we'll clean those parts when we're putting them back on. So now for this, we're gonna use white lithium grease. This is about the best stuff that you can use for this application. You can get this at a bike shop, hardware store, all we're gonna do is go ahead and squeeze just a little bit out of there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like preparation H. We're just gonna lube that shaft. Anybody watching this, this video I'm sure is used to doing that at least once in their life or three times a day like me. All right, so now we're gonna clean up the little pieces here. Uh, you can also see, look, it already broke. On your chair, it actually broke uh, from the friction going back and forth. But it's okay, if you lubricate these parts up good, even if they look completely trashed, it's gonna knock down the sound of the chair. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and restart with the assembly. We're gonna take our new clean little, little washer, put it on there, take this, put it over that. We're gonna go ahead and put just a little more grease onto that just because we want this to be very lubricated. Just a like a so. And then you can see this, this is really worn. You can tell, especially us heavier guys that are sitting on these chairs, we do wear this little thing out. So we're gonna clean all the bung that we can out of that. All right, it's about as good as it's gonna get. We're gonna put that back over the race. Okay, that's nice and smooth, I like it. Now, the only thing that's left to do is to put her back together. All right, so we take the giant starfish, slide it right back over the shaft. Should go on nice and smooth, just like that. We're gonna take the retaining washer, we're gonna slide it over that. In hindsight, I should've kept the gloves on. There we go, we're good. And last, but certainly not least, we're gonna put the retainer clip back on, which you can actually just do by hand. It goes on very, very easily, just like that. And there you have it, that's all there is to it. Now that constant clunk, 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 ratchet, clack, snap, when you're spinning the clunk, all that's gonna be gone, watch. All right, let's go ahead and flip this bad boy over. All right, let's do the test. No more sound going in a circle. It was popping before. And. Mm. 
No more poppy noises. Isn't that cool? Whee! Total cost of materials for this job, I'm going to estimate at about 12 cents. But I don't think you can buy 12 cents worth of lube, so maybe. I don't know. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video of me showing you how to fix your GT Omega or uh, whatever the hell this is, DX Racer or AK Racing or IKEA. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Even if you have the crappiest piston-operated office chair, this is going to fix your problem. I'm getting dizzy now, so tell your friends. Whoa, I'm getting really dizzy. And uh, hit the like button, subscribe, leave comments. I forgot I'm still hungover from Tech Talk last night. All right. Until, where are you guys at? Until next time? Yeah. Until next time. Whoa. All right, anyways, I showed you guys how to do something cool, okay? So, yeah, share this with your mom and dad. And, 4chan and reddit and uh your local newspaper if you can take out an ad that would be cool and a special thanks to jay for allowing me the honor of flying down here to california to fix his noisy ass chair that pops and clicks and keeps everybody in the house awake all right i'm out i went to school with this guy named mike hawk and he was pretty cool he was, he was a big guy one second must dry brow must dry brow okay a little bit whoa the hell was that? I need to get you a new chair. All right, so I broke Jay's chair, but it's okay. That's not what we're fixing. So that's not the focus of this video. That'll be another video for another time when Jay's actually, replacing the arm. Actually.